Internet's infrastructure, as designed in the 70s, will soon reach its limits. It's made up of heterogeneous networks interconnected with routers and links. The different sub-networks in the Internet are owned and managed by network operators, core network operators or Internet access providers. We name them Physical Infrastructure Providers, PIPs. Information in the Internet is divided into packets which are sent over the network and reassembled at destination. There's no control over the network resources consumed by each user. Traffic is treated with a best effort approach. Today, the Internet has become a fundamental communication infrastructure, connecting millions of nodes and billions of end users, which can be home users or enterprise users. Every day, new bandwidth-hungry applications surge into the Internet market. To process the huge amount of data generated by these new video, gaming, and 3D services, data centers have been attached to the Internet. They aggregate thousands of computing servers in huge storage areas which, accessed through cloud services, deeply modify the Internet's traffic and processing needs. We need to identify solutions for quality of service provisioning, security management, and control, enabling a highly flexible usage of the Internet's resources to meet bursty demands. Geyser's concept allows the traditional carrier role to be split among physical infrastructure providers, PIPs, virtual infrastructure providers, VIPs, and virtual infrastructure operators, VIOs. Geyser's proposes an extension of the concept of infrastructure as a service, IAAS, to network plus IT infrastructures. PIPs rent physical networks and IT resources to VIPs. VIPs rent virtual infrastructures to VIOs. VIOs operate virtual infrastructures for third parties. Virtualization gives the opportunity to automatically deploy customized virtual infrastructures to meet the specific requirements of each customer or service. Geysers introduces a logical infrastructure composition layer, LICL, that makes it possible to partition the physical infrastructure, including both network and IT resources, and also to merge resources coming from different PIPs in a single virtual infrastructure. The VIO controls its virtual infrastructure through an enhanced network control plane, NCP. The NCP allows the VIO to optimize the utilization of the virtual resources and dynamically replan the underlying virtual infrastructure. The virtual infrastructure and the NCP can be easily extended to support more customers following a pay-as-you-grow model. Today, enterprises are increasingly global and dependent on sophisticated intelligent analytics in order to quickly identify and respond to business opportunities or incidents. However, they need to optimize costs and resource usage to remain competitive and profitable. Thanks to the Geysers framework, the company's network and IT infrastructure can be quickly adapted according to the current needs. The creation of multiple isolated virtual infrastructures sharing the same physical resources allows PIPs to optimize resource utilization and improve energy efficiency. Geysers proposes the IAAS concept, extended to network plus IT infrastructures, which allows a VIO to be immediately active on the market and to offer tailor-made infrastructures that scale on demand. All of that without needing an initial long-term investment, thus limiting risks. Application providers can offer new levels of services to their customers without having to over-provision.